Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Sunny Wayma. And I'm round at my homestead. <laughs> oh my God, what a lovely day it is today. Right, as you can see here, I've put that little thing up, that little planter up. And I've been able to get my scooter in the doorway here because it's only a little one. So I've just got a few little bits here on that bookshelf and um yeah so i should be able to plant things here and start them off these are see what we've got in here so we've got savoy cabbage in there i'm not planting a lot this year i'm actually going to go and buy my seedlings already grown because i am not organized with moving so um, these in these pots here are calendula and I just noticed today that I have got one growing. I hope you can see that because I can't. Right, look at my daffodils. Mr King, do you remember we said that when you plant daffodils for the first time, they grow blind, which means that they don't have any flowers on them. They'll just grow the green bits. And I don't think I've got one there that hasn't got a flower on. So that's amazing, isn't it? So, yes, I was very lucky there. Um, got a few primulas growing and some little bits there. That's my lemon thyme. Oh, it smells amazing. Right, yes, so... Uh, Sandra, Nana's Worms. Do you remember you said... Oh, hello, Colin. <laughs> Do you remember you said about... It's a shame that I didn't put cardboard down. Well, I did in the end. What I did is... I didn't... I couldn't get cardboard from there but I could get it there and I cut a hole in the cardboard so that the onions could still grow so Colin do you mind please cheeky boy so yes it's got cardboard halfway and then here it hasn't where the daffodils are it hasn't oh do you mind but yes doesn't it look lovely right that is a Come on, camellia that I bought last year. It didn't flower last year, but it has a flower bud on there. I've got it up there now. Um, so, yes, I had to get it out of there because of my scooter fitting in. Um, there's my azalea. It really doesn't look like it's coming back to life at all. And I still haven't had the grass cut so I tried doing it with my strimmer and it wasn't good enough I had a Cali Wally Cali and Colin are you giving each other kisses you cheeky pussy cats right up here dogs keep coming and pooing in my garden so I've put this green mesh here and I said before it was all clay, so what I've done, look, I've been able to, I'm digging the clay out of here, fixing it there, and when I get some more twigs, this will be built up to here, and then I'll have a nice big hole that I can put some nice compost in and plant some bulbs in there. Um... And get that looking all nice. I believe this was an ant's nest. So I'm digging this out of here. And using it like for the walls there. So yes, I'm going to do that all the way along. There's another one here. I hope you can see that. But that's like a big hump. Right, we've got some daffodils growing as well. And primulas. So... They're pretty, aren't they? 
and there look right and then at the end here I've got a forsythia growing that was already here uh, I'm gonna have to go around and cut all the a couple of, there's a couple of dead twigs there and in here I've got a dahlia and of course because of the cats I have to put that on there I dug two primulas out of the garden you know from here right let's go around the back right coming around the back here please excuse my washing um, I took two doors off because they were in the way so this is going to be where I put my mobility scooter eventually um, I've been able to fix that gate in which I'm pretty proud of and I've got some well a friend has got some rubber matting and it's quite thick it's maybe about um, an inch thick two centimeters thick and he said I can have it but he wants to cut a piece off of it first so I'm thinking I can put that here it's not much of a slope and I will be able to build like a shed in there so that'll be pretty good and also you too that's log ash in there which is a bit damp but I have been able to plant some potatoes. I haven't planted my one that Mr. King gave me from the SSP. So that, that, yeah, single seed potato challenge, that's it, from last year, performer. That's it, I haven't planted that yet. So all I've done is... I've got some in there. Ah, no, 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 no. As you can see, I have to put the lids on. So I've got some, they were big potatoes, like baking potatoes. Haven't got a clue what make they were, but they were from the supermarket. Um, I've got some in here, I believe that's Pentland Javelin. And I've got another three under here. And I believe they're Pentland Javelin. I've been able to put the log ash in them as well so everything I do has got to be covered over because of them two little monkeys until I'm able to get my fencing some fencing round here I've got my water butt here um, that's nearly full actually with all the water that we've been having just collecting in in the top there um, compost heap and this is ivy which I need to get rid of so yes that's it so far I did ask somebody to come round and um, cut my grass for me and I've just got like big lumps of clay everywhere they're old ants nests that's another one there but what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this clay um, to make things, not pots, not cups and saucers. <laughs> but I'm thinking as well that I could maybe, you see this wall here is falling to pieces. And I thought it might be nice just to line that with the clay, maybe. We'll see. We will see, but yes, that will be perfect for my scooter and a few other little bits. So, what do you think, guys and gals? I think it's coming on amazingly. It doesn't look too nice when you stood in the alleyway there. <laughs> it looks a bit of a mess, but who cares? Right, from sunny Weymouth. I'm going to bid you all a goodbye. Bye-bye.